Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a bouncing ball effect like this one right here very easily using the light motion application. Here, I have created three rounded rectangles with their sizes as shown here. Now we need to draw a path line with the help of this vector drawing tool. Now swipe on this control pad to move the pointer and to add a pointer, click on this add icon and then move the pointer upwards and add another pointer over there. Then swipe down and add another pointer on the rectangle layer just as shown here. To remove this fill, let's go back and click on color and fill and then click on the snow fill icon to remove that fill. Now let's get back to vector drawing. Now click on edit points and swipe here until you get the add icon highlighted. Now move the pointer upwards and repeat the same process which we have done before. Now for the lost pointer, swipe up and move it out of the frame. Now swiping over here, you can navigate through the pointers. Come to this pointer and then click on this icon right here to convert that sharp edge into a curve and then choose any one of those handles by clicking over here and then by swiping over this control pad, you can modify that curve shape. After done, you can directly click on the other sharp edge and then click on this curve icon to convert that sharp edge into a curve and yeah just repeat the same process you can reposition the individual pointers as well so this is the path line that we have created click on stroke and add the white color stroke now we need to add a circle shape click on color and fill and change its color to white and then extend the layer duration till the end and then click on effects click on add effect and then search for the move along path effect click on it and apply the standard settings here, if we increase the progress value, the ball is following the path line that we have created. Here, I would like to reposition the pointers. Finally, this is our path line. Now select the circle layer, click on FX and add the motion blur effect. And then adjust the tune value according to your needs. Now come back to move along path effect and add a keyframe at the beginning and then come 12 frames forward and increase the progress value until the circle reaches the top and then come 6 frames forward and increase the progress value until the ball touches the rectangle layer and then again come 12 frames forward and increase the progress value and place the circle over the top and then again come 6 frames forward and make sure the circle touches the rectangle layer. Just repeat the same process. Come 12 frames forward and take the circle to the top and then come 6 frames forward again and adjust the circle at the bottom. And for the last keyframe, come 7 or 8 frames forward on the timeline and then take it out of the frame. Yeah, we are done. Let's play and see. To make the animation smooth, let's add the ease in and ease out curve between the keyframes. Add the ease in curve between the first two keyframes and for the next one as well. Now when the ball is bouncing up, add an ease out curve. And when the ball is falling down, add the ease in curve. Just repeat the same process throughout. Now place the playhead on where the ball touches the rectangle and add the beat mark at those respective time frames. Here I have added three beat marks by following the same process. Come to the first beat mark time frame and split the first rectangle and split the other two rectangle layers as well. Just place these rectangle layers over the next two beat marks positions just as shown here. Now select the first rectangle layer 
and add the hot color effect. Just place the handle over the color that you want. Here I have chosen the yellow color. Click on copy effects and paste it over the other two rectangle layers. Let's add the glow effect. Adjust the glow value to something near 30 percentage and then choose the yellow color as a glow. Now copy the effect and paste it over the other two rectangle layers. Now select the rectangle layers at the bottom and extend the layers till the fifth second frame and then trim out the extra layers as well. So this is the animation that we have got as of now. Now come to the first bitmark and let's add the text. Type the text and then choose the color and font for the text and then position it over the rectangle with the help of the move tool. Extend the layer till the end. Make a copy of the layer and then trim out the layer to the second beat mark. Click on edit text and replace the text. With the help of the move tool, position the text over the other rectangle and then make another copy and just repeat the same process. So yeah, we are done. Here I would like to change the background color to black. And don't forget to hide this path line layer. So yeah, here we go. This is the final preview. So yeah, that's it for the video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and please do subscribe if you haven't yet.